श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किकेसरी वेदाताचार्य वर्गो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदा श्रीवासरंगकाल मुनिप्तलक्ष्मापरक्षण तीर्थगा आचार्यभक्तिपूतमनर्घशील गोपाल देशिक मुनि गुरमाश्रयाम व्यास वशिष्ठनता शक्ते पौत्रमकमशं पराशरात्मज वंदे सुखता तपोनिधि व्यासा विष्णु व्यास विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निद वाशिष्ठा नमो नम सो इट इज अवर् ग्रेट भाग्यम प्रिवलेज प्लेजर एंड इट इज अवर् फॉर्चून to enjoy the vishnu sagarsanama recitation and also contemplate the meanings of the individual nama very rarely one gets to hear the meanings of the vishnu sagarsanama stotra even if you do not know the meaning if you recite it is the same power and it grants you the same fruits regardless of you are knowing the meaning or not because perimal knows the meaning and if you know the meaning and if you enjoy reciting you will be able to enjoy better when you recite because you will be able to immerse yourself in the attributes the vaibhava the mahima of the lord so today we will have the 54th shloka soma pomrita pashoma purjit purushottamah vinayojaya satya sandho ंग the soma pana or the juice soma po amrita paha amrita paha is the the one who drinks amrita the nectar the deathless the immortality soma ha the nectar or the moon purujit the conqueror of everything the conqueror of the of everyone purujit puru satamaha in the puru in the first name purujit it means the makkal the people is the conqueror of all in the purushottamaha the same puru here means mahan bhagavatottamash bhaktas the 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 chief among the bhaktas he who would like to be associated he who remains with the bhagavatottama purushottamaha vinayah the subdued lord jayaha one who is always victorious satya sandah he always takes a sankalpam and he promises which are always truthful he never ever goes against his promise if he says i will protect you he will protect darshanah dasharshah satya sandah that he is the he is he who is worthy of offering gift satvatam pati the lord of satvatas so these are the one liners of the shlokam soma pomrata pasoma purijit purusattamah vinayojaya satya sandho dasharh satvatam pati so we saw that he who in the form of the deity being invoked in a yagna accepts the yagna accepts the somapanam given by the griha grihastashrama the householder performing the yagna so during the rama avataram he is the one who performed the yagna and hence he offered and then he partook the somapanam so it means both the meaning so soma paya namaha soma juice is the extract from a plant and is the most important ingredient in ancient yagna parasara bhatta vyakhyanam is that nama signifies that lord shri ramachandra murti performed several yagna as a kshatriya 
and he offered the swamapanam during the yagnam and he drank that as the bhagavata prasadam after the yagnam after performing the yagnam shri shankaracharya gives the additional interpretation that bhagavan accepts the offering of the of the panam in all yagnam in the form of the devatas because lord krishna says whatever you offer to any devata it is i who accept those offering through that devata so if you are performing a yagnam for some devata that devata accepts the offering and it is the antaryami the in dweller who is vishnu who is the lord accepts through that devata that particular offering that's that is the interpretation given by adi shankaracharya then amartapah the drinker of nectar ambrosia the nectar prasara butter gives two interpretation for this nama so pibati means drinks pati is protects so amarta paya paya namaha the the oblations the the one which is offered in the yagna as prescribed in vedas along with the mantra recitation are transformed by the agni into the nectar and given to vishnu yat kinchit huyate vannav havir mantrair vidanatah tat sarvam amritam kritva vishnave sampracchati that bhagavan is the drinker of the nectar amritapah any offering that is made to agni agni accepts it and passes on to mahavishnu the alternate interpretation is that bhagavan himself is the amrita he does not need amrita he himself is the amrita he is ara amudan the insatiable nectar we would never ever be satisfied with this amrita he protects it for the benefit of his devotees so that the devotees can enjoy him in the in the transcendental world after following the dharma marga after following the path of dharma shown by parmar in the discharge of our daily duties in the world amartasya yesha setuh munda mundaka upanishad says he is the bridge for the amrita he is the procurer of the amrita yasya chaya amrita taitriya yajur says he who shadow is amrita he is amritam himself so that is why he is amrita pa amrita pa namaha swamaha he is the moon he is the nectar he himself is called the nectar he is sweet like nectar he is tena mudhi parasara butter gives reference to shrimat ramayana dasharatha obtained rama like the nectar amritam from the agni in the putra kamashti yagam so he himself is the amritam he is ara amuda he is insatiate nectar we can never ever be satisfied with him and all says manattik iniyanai padavam ni vara he is so endearing to our mind iniyan manattik iniyan so namalva says enakku tene pale kannale amude namalva says lord is everything to me like honey like milk like sugar candy kalkande he is nectar he is like karumb eppozhudum naal thingal aandu ooli thorum appozhudai kappozhudai en aaramudame nammal vaache appozhudai kappozhudai en aaramudame eppozhudum naal thingal aandu ooli thorum you are insatiable nectar to me always amritam to me always no matter how much i enjoy you. for days for months for years for yugams but every time i enjoy you you are like a fresh nectar every time even if i continue to enjoy continuously you look so fresh so so insatiable to me i never ever get tired of you so that's the anubhavam that we need to have purujit he is the conqueror of all purujit shankaracharya gives the vyakhyana bahun jayati iti purujit he who conquers many conquers everyone parasara butter refers to shrimad ramayana in support of his vyakhyana king dasharatha pleads with kaikeyu to spare him from the torture of separation from rama 
who is the personification of everything that is good and he tells kaikeyi rama has conquered the world through his dharma through his vakya the poor by charity the teacher by his kaikarya and the enemies by his bow he has conquered everybody satyena lokan jayati dina dhanena raghavah guru shushruba shushrushaya viro dhanusha yudhi satrava so here the name guna of the same gunam of bhagavan purujit is referred to by tirumangai alvar in periya tirumali ilangaikku padi ilangai padikku andru irayaya arakkar kulam kettu avar maala kodi pol tirittai so in the earth so beautifully he said lord rama has the distinction of winning over three from the same family ravana was won over by his valor vibhishana by his dharma and character and surpanaga by his appearance ravana was conquered by rama's valor strength vibhishana was conquered by rama by his dharma by his rakshana and character where surpanaga was conquered by his rupa saundarya lavanya alag divine beauty again he has conquered many through many means and he conquers us also with his divine beauty so swama pavar tapas swama purujit purusattamah purusattamah he who remains with the great bhagavato tamas parasara better vyakyanam is so beautiful here i want to enjoy that vyakyanam bhagavan remains with great ones parasara better says bhagavan always wants to remain with many great bhagavato tamas such as he gives one name that is hanuma because they are always desirous of drinking the ocean of his kalyana gunam sneho me paramo rajan tvayi nityam apratishtitah paktischa nityata veera bavo bhavo nanyatra gachati in uttarakhand when rama here karpa rama virana ellal matrum karparo purpa mudala pullarum baadi ondrindriye narpalu kuitanan nan moganar petra natule namal varse for the grass the insects the beings the animals everyone from ayodhya was taken by lord sri rama to the vaikuntha lokam after his avatara purpose over he took everyone and he called hanuma why are you waiting come come jump into the queue come hanuma says uh, i i would like to seek your forgiveness that i do not wish to come to sri vaikuntha what do you know what are you talking about it is sri vaikuntha it's the ultimate bliss andamil per inbam there is absolutely nothing short of blissful anandam there you can enjoy me you can enjoy the bhagavatottamas you can enjoy the whole life performing eternal kaikaryam service and you can be there forever and ever and ever no karma bandham afterward come anchaneya says please i seek your forgiveness because there will you be there as narayana or rama you have taken rama avatar you may originally be narayana you may just take this avatar and the avatar purpose is over and you are going back to your original abode but for me rama is the ultimate in sri vaikuntham just for fun people say this in sri vaikuntham you will have the immense gnana you can enjoy him in all sorts of manner there is no diminution diminution of enjoyment but anchanaya asked him this shoulder has been hugged by you when i said contain sita yai seen sita you hugged me and the 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 fragrance of your shoulder of your divine body is still with me 
whenever whenever i want to remember you enjoy you your fragrance your hug i can just smell my shoulder i will have that divine fragrance will in shivai kuntam there will not be shri mat ramayana parayana there will not be ramana rama nama sankirtana there will be samagana there will be trippalland nammalvar thiruvaimali there could be several other things slokam stotrams but not shri mat ramayana wherever shri mat ramayana is recited i would like to be there మనోజవం మారుత తుల్య వేగం జితేంద్రియం బుద్ధిమతం వరిష్టం వాతాత్మజం వానర యుత ముఖ్యం శ్రీరామదూతం శిరస నమామి హీ ఈస్ అ సూపర్ జానిక్ స్పీడ్ ఇస్ ఎవిడెన్స్ ఇన్ ఇస్ ఫ్లయింగ్ ఓవర్ ద సీస్ హీ ఈస్ సో బుద్ధి బుద్ధిమతం వరిష్టం ఈ ఈస్ ద ఫోర్ మోస్ట్ అమాంగ్ ద ఇంటెలిజెంట్ అండ్ హీ సేస్ ఎత్ర ఎత్ర రఘునాథ కీర్తనం తత్ర తత్ర కృతమస్య కాంచలి బాష్పవారి పరిపూర్ణ లోచనం మారుతిం నమత రాక్షసాంతకం ఎత్ర ఎత్ర వేర్ ఎవర్ దర్ ఇస్ నామ సంకీర్తనం రామనామ సంకీర్తనం శ్రీమద్ రామాయణం రిసైటెడ్ దేర్ హీ వుడ్ బీ దేర్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ప్లేసెస్ దట్ ఈస్ వై దే కీప్ అ మనై వుడన్ ప్లాంక్ వేర్ ఎవర్ రామాయణ ఈస్ రిసైటెడ్ సో ఎత్ర ఎత్ర రఘునాథ కీర్తనం తత్ర తత్ర కృతం హస్తక అంజలి పాష్పవారి పరిపూర్ణ లోచనం మారుతి నమత రాక్షస అంతకం దెర్ హీ న్యూమరస్ ఇన్స్టెన్సెస్ ఆర్ ప్రాక్టికల్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ ఇన్ విచ్ సిన్సియర్ ప్రేయర్స్ టు హనుమాన్ హ్యావ్ బ్రాట్ ఇన్స్టెంట్ రిలీఫ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ద మోస్ట్ డిఫికల్ట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ సో దిస్ లోక ఈస్ వెరీ ఎఫెక్టివ్ wherever shri mat ramayana is recited he sits next to the reciter the parayana adhikari and listen to shri mat ramayana when shri mat ramayana upanyasam is done even if there is nobody at least one there is one audience which is hanuman he will be there always they also say jocularly that nowadays they do not keep any wooden plank in the shri mad ramayana upanyas why because there is already mic those days there was no mic now mic so he sits in the form of the mic within the mic hanuman thereby the shri mad ramayana is first heard by hanuman then only heard by others and also he absorbs and then he passes the message message shri mad ramayana to others yep yeah, and when rama asked you how can you be away from me you cannot be away from me you cannot be separated from me you cannot bear the separation from me then come to shri vaikuntha hanuman says there is no separation from you and me rama there is no separation you are always with me every hair of every hair in my body utters rama nama if i open my chest you will see only sita rama there there is no separation and wherever rama's nama rama nama is recited i would like to be there with those bhag bhaktas and bless them so hanumat samena guruna vedanta sikha says in sankalpa suryodayam he a guru should be like hanuma for example if sita pirati is a jeevatma who is longing to be associated with the paramatma shri rama the guru comes across the ocean reaches the jeevatma connects the jeevatma with the lord so hanumat samena guruna vedanta desika mentioned so a he is an acharya sant hanuman himself such a beautiful manner this purusattamaha means the one who is always with the bhagavatottama like hanuman then vinayaha subduer he who leads well two meanings bhattas vyakhyanam is viniyante damyante iti vinayaha he who subdues he gives the example of subduing maricha by lord rama through his strength he causes the evil doers the ashu the asuras by punishing them he subdues them that is why he is vinaya 
then jayaha he who is conquered or he who is victorious two names shankara bhashyam says he who is victorious over all beings parasara bhattas gives he who is conquered by the bhagavatas he who is conquered by the devotees so to bring out the dominant guna of bhagavan such as saushilya he who is conquered by yashoda he who is conquered by gopikas he who is conquered by hanuman i am to be commanded by the jays by the rishis by the sages i am at their disposal says rama in shrimad ramayana agnyopyaham tapasvina so that is the j- vina jaya then we have satya santaha he whose promises are always satya he is a firm resolve he is always truthful when he says i will protect you he protects finish there is no other word ramo dhirna bibashate rama would never utter the word twice only once or will or sol or il so parasara bhatta quotes rama's words to sita pirati because the meaning of pratigna promise apyaham jeevitam chakya twam va site sa lakshmana natu pratignyam samsrutya brahmanebhyo visheshtaha in aranyagandam when maharishis and all when rama sita lakshmana were there in the forest the rishis come to rama they show that they do not have one hand somebody shows the wound on the shoulder somebody shows the leg is not there one leg is not there because the asuras and rakshasas have hit them hurt them troubled them and wounded them so they show their wounds they they tell rama you need to protect us the rakshasas are troubling torturing us torturing our yagam yagnyam tapas please save us he says abayam do not worry i will take care of them immediately sita takes rama to the side just like any typical spouse she says measure your word before you say it out rama you are not a raja here ayodhya you are raja now you are in the forest banished to the forest like all of us have been asked to go to the forest you are like them you don't have the army you don't have the arms except for the bow and few arrows what's your problem what did the rakshasas trouble you they troubled the rishis so how can you promise them that you will take care of them you are not their king so she is worried that rama has a stepped more than what is due for him he is getting into the dangerous zone by having the enmity of the rakshasas and asuras in the forest the 14 years have to go peacefully and we have to go back she is worried that is the time rama says in shrimad ramayana apyaham jeevitam chakya twam va site sa lakshmana natu pratignyam samsrutya brahmanebhyo visheshatah sita i would rather give up my life or i would rather give up you and lakshmana but not breaking my promise especially that which has been made to brahmins i would not do that naalum tan meyyarku meyyane swami namalva says he is always true to his bhaktas to devotees bhagavan was not only true to his devotee prahlada but he became true he made his appearance to even his adversary enemy hiranyakashipu poyyanukkum meyyan ramo dhirna bibhashate rama never utters word twice anrutam nokta purvam me nachavakshe kadachana so dasharada keeping his word to kaikey dharmaputra going to the forest and undergoing agnyatavasham just because fulfilling his word 
Harichandra. There are so many great people caring, trying to keep their words. That is why they are great. That is why they are dear to Bhagavan. We are the ones who say, Oh yeah, last week I told you I'll give you thousand dollars. But sorry, now it's not there. But you only said you would give. I never asked anyone but you. What can I do? Sorry. We just simply say, no, word would not be kept. Then, worthy of gift. Dasha Rehaha. One who is your worthy of gift. One who is worthy to be possessed as a gift. He himself is a gift for us. He is the gift. Dasha Rehaya Namaha. He is the gift for us. And then we have Satvatam Patihi, the Lord, of, the Lord, the God of Satvatas. A detailed derivation of the word Satvata from the word Sat, meaning either Supreme Brahman or the quality of Sattva, Sattva Guna. Satvan is the one who knows Brahman, one who is possessed of the Sattva Guna. Satvataha is the those Bhaktas, Bhagavatas, Bra and the one who is knowing Brahman. So Bhagavatas, Satvatampati, the Lord of the Bhagavatas, the Lord of the Bhaktas. So that's what is talked about here. Satvatampati. Shankaracharya says in his Vyakyanam, Bhagavan is Satvatampati since he is the leader of those who follow the tantram called Satvatam. The scriptures which are essentially sattvic in nature. Adiye, Danyosmi, Kavitarki Kasimhaya Kalyana Gunashaline, Srimate Venkatesaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha.